Outdoor Passion is brought to you by Prince Craft Boats, Dominate the Waters, Williams Lures, Trophy Takers for Over 100 Years, Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear, and Rapala World Records, World Class. <laughs> Welcome to Outdoor Passion. I'm Andrew Carter. You must join us for the next 30 minutes. Our Outdoor Passion team will be casting for the elusive long nose gar. Knowing the techniques to catch this Jurassic beast is one of the best kept secrets in the angling community. Ray Carigno is going to share with us his new discovery, the Storm Arashi. It's a bass magnet that can cover most conditions. Gar are abundant and just waiting to tangle with open-minded anglers. You will realize how limited our knowledge of this neglected fish really is. Today we're going to teach you how to fool the elusive long nose gar. Let's watch. The destination of the week is brought to you by Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. Nature created the perfect eating machine when it made the gar. This ancient fish resembles a dinosaur more than a fish. Today, we fish for a predator perfectly adapted for survival, a hunter that has remained unchanged for 100 million years. Its mystic and unique look finally motivated us to study and chase this prehistoric fish in the shallows where it likes to spend its summers. This truly unique species can thrive in shallow, hot waters. Considered a living fossil, it can breathe surface air and will survive in areas other fish couldn't. Long-nosed gar abounds in streams, rivers, and eutrophic bays where prey is abundant. These fish have an enormous appetite. They prefer calm bays with high turbidity. In sunny periods, they are much easier to spot near the surface. We often find these armored predators mixed with largemouth bass and pike. We head out with David Caron. He's an angler who loves to fish for species others ignore, like gar, carp, or sturgeon. Ray, always on the lookout for a new fishing experience, is eager to catch this mysterious predator. During our time on the water, we discover that sight fishing is definitely the best method of approaching these needle noses. It's much more efficient to wait for gars to surface for air than to cast blindly. On our arrival, we spot a nice gar close by. It's time for a quiet and subtle presentation. Our first customer appears interested, but we must pause a bit before setting on it. Otherwise, we'll just jerk the lure away. Looks like David's stealth presentation and steady nerves paid off. Oh yes, oh big gar, yes. big long nose gar. Yes. Long nosed gar are known for their short but explosive battles. They don't have the stamina of other game fish. Well done, David. Catching one of these using conventional tackle is far from easy. First, the angler has to convince this often fussy fish to bite what seems to be a piece of cloth, then set the hook, or in this case, rope, so it gets entangled in its teeth, then try not to lose it during the fight. It's a strange looking but beautiful fish in its own special way. Gars are, after all, an extraordinary evolutionary success having evolved perfectly during the time dinosaurs roamed the earth. 
This guy doesn't look that tasty, so we prefer to release this prehistoric marvel. Jurassic fish or living prehistoric fossil, either name seems to fit well. The gar's ability to breathe air is truly unique. It's able to do this because of a special swim bladder. As we admire the long jaws covered in small, razor-sharp teeth, it's very clear that this fish is a top predator wherever it swims. The long cylindrical body can range from olive brown to dark green and speckled with dark spots. Its sides tend to be a light green and with a whitish or silvery underbelly. Tough diamond-shaped scales armor the body. Two fierce eyes suggest that any prey that swims by will be seen and eaten. Ray and David decide to concentrate on a weedy point. When active, these fish hunt in turbid and eutrophic waters for prey. In these shallow waters, it's wise to take precautions like killing the big engine a far distance away and quietly putting the front electric in position. Having a stealthy approach will avoid spooking gar as they sun themselves along the surface. We could let the wind push us in or use a push pole. Both are good options. This careful approach lets us get up close enough to spot them and put our offerings right on their noses. A delicate lure presentation is crucial. After multiple accurate casts, we finally get a positive reaction, a smashing attack, and a spectacular fight from this heavily armored fish. Yes, big one, really big one, he's in the weeds. Can't move him. We're using a special net equipped with small, non-abrasive meshing to protect the fish and to minimize tangling with the rows of teeth in those long jaws. Wow! A nice long nose gar with a uh, X-Wrap popper, David. Today's post-frontal conditions are making it tough. We believed for a time that these gar would be pretty active. It's obvious now that weather can change their mood just like other fish. Nice long nose gar, David. Very good lure, David, very good. Good work. This species may be from an ancient time, but they still provide a very entertaining battle. The best lures for long nose gar are homemade creations from materials found at local hardware stores. Take your favorite spoon, spinner, or body bait and remove the hook. Replace the hooks with a piece of soft white nylon rope attached to the split ring. Spice it up with colored marabou, flash, wool or other fly tying material. Hiding a small treble hook in this trailer should add a few more fish to the day's catch. Gars are attracted by the lure's flash and vibration. Then they are captivated by the undulating rope. When they strike, the cord entangles those thorny sharp teeth. It's a technique that requires a lot of nerve and some luck when learning the correct time to strike. Our best baits are surface lures with rope. It's especially productive if you have the lure and rope contrasting colors. Switch to smaller surface baits when Gar refused the bigger models. We found it makes a big difference. When the gar are deeper, we prefer to use a rope jig. You don't have to remove the big single hook. It will keep the gar pegged and be useful if a bonus bass or pike grabs the jig. We also experimented with a float rig presentation. Having the lure suspend below a bobber is a great way to entice inactive gar hiding in vegetation. 
for extreme thick grassy conditions, a totally weedless rig is a necessity. The clacking sound coming from the bullet weight glass bead combo attracts attention. As the day progresses, it's becoming more evident that our quarry is more timid. To find some active gar, we venture deeper into the vegetation. This is where a powerful, quiet electric motor is a must. What luck! One of the lazy gar finally followed David's lure out of the jungle. One twitch and the fight is on. It's easy to be addicted to this challenging and exciting fishing. Close combat with a powerful fish in heavy cover is thrilling. Another victory for David. During the initial seconds of the fight, he had to hold the rod tip very high using both hands. The thick grass made us use heavy tackle with 20 to 30 pound line. Heavier line will force Gar out of the cover without the worry of break off. Thick weed and reeds increases the odds of losing a fish should it dive into them. Using a rope on the lure has one distinct advantage. It usually locks the gar's jaws shut and prevents injuries when it trashes around while we handle it. In most cases, it's possible to trick more and bigger gar with scent. Gar will usually avoid lures that don't smell or look alive. We discovered that adding concentrated garlic scent really makes a difference. Before casting the lure, soak it with this stuff. We noticed an increase in the attacks and how many more fish will follow the lure right up to the boat. This phenomenon was confirmed when a gar captured the garlic scented lure and was closely followed by his buddy trying to snatch the lure. After the catch, we have to untangle the mess with a good stiff brush. Many prefer to use a steel brush. To help you prepare gar lures, we suggest using a hair detangler. This is very effective. These specialized products also improve the lure's appeal by increasing its shine and sleekness. It's an additional step that can reduce missed fish. For those that find these measures too troublesome, you can always bring your gar lures to your favorite barber shop for that professional touch. We are sure he already knows you're an avid angler. He might not even charge you if you tell him a few fishing spots. These stylists have the experience to turn your precious lures into irresistible gar magnets. After a bit of brushing, our barber decides it's time for a trim. So out come the scissors. Then the selection of colors. We'll be giving it a punk look to some of the strands. Vivid colors is the way to go. After all, whether it's tangled nylon from a lure or your own hair, it's all the same to the barber. Looks like David is now ready to tackle some trophy gar. Seriously, it's time to concentrate our efforts to catch bigger fish and ignore the smaller, more numerous ones. Ray and David focus on sight fishing for trophy fish. Finally, they spot a larger specimen. It's a very wary fish that keeps swimming around our suspended bait. Try not to panic. Just be patient, Ray. In response to the pressure, the guard goes crazy and flies to heavy cover to break us off. Now, we really need the heavy gear to keep them on. Oh boy. Yes, sir. 
For this northern region of North America, it's a really big gar. This is a great example of the Lipistostiidae family, a group of fish that also includes the short nose and the monstrous alligator gar from the southern U.S. These amazing fish would feel right at home in the waterways of a Jurassic Park. Nice gar, uh, David. Nice long nose gar on a quick strike rig. This is our only catch using a hook. The presentation consisted of a quick strike rig attached to a herring-like cut bait suspended below a float. This lure was saturated in ultrabite pheromones, which triggered this top predator into biting. All these overlooked marshy areas and marginal zones hide outstanding angling experiences. We encourage you to go explore them. It's great to know we have so many exciting species to fish for. Fishing for unique fish and seeking new adventures is what fuels our passion for the sport of angling. The destination of the week was brought to you by Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. Wow, those slimy beasts are so impressive. They're smart. They're long and they're powerful. Now to have good success with a long nose gar, you need a good electric motor, one that's weedless and silent because they're pretty easy to spook these fish. Also a good shallow water anchoring system will help. Still more to come with the Novelty Minute featuring the Storm Arashi. It's a lure made for bass tournaments with outdoor passion as we continue after this. After these messages, the Novelty Minute on the Storm Arashi, a lure for big bass, stay with us. Did you know that all Princecraft boats are built entirely in Canada in a small town called Princeville in the province of Quebec? Every day, over 300 employees put their talents together to design, assemble, and deliver some of the best built boats in the industry. Princecraft works also with local Canadian component suppliers to ensure the best quality throughout their boats. By purchasing a Princecraft boat, you are supporting the overall Canadian economy and community. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. On the way again. Oh, on the moose, look. Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Look. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories. Because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort. Created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out SportChief.com. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid. For more than six decades, Princecraft has been renowned for building the best aluminum boats. Experts have consistently relied on Princecraft for its quality, durability, reliability, and performance. Whether it's fishing, water sports, or simply enjoying the water with friends and family, Princecraft has a wide range of products that will suit all your needs. Get yourself the exceptional quality and performance that only a Princecraft boat can provide you. Go to Princecraft.com to build and price your boat or to view our full assortment of products. Princecraft. Dominate the waters.
The Novelty Minute is brought to you by Princecraft Boats. Dominate the waters. Welcome back to Outdoor Passion. Ray Carney here with a whole line of lures that go to just the right depth. And it's all about technology, I guess. Exactly. It's a new lineup of Arashi from Storm. And these lures are made for bass for fishing tournaments. And no matter the conditions, they will catch bass. They will make them really mad. So you have the square five and the square three. And they have a circuit board lip. So this is more stable. It goes down deeper and it's a thinner bill. So it's easier to get it down there. And uh, the number three goes down to about three feet and number five to five feet. You have a silent model, but also you have another model with rattles in it. So we can hear the rattles. It imitates a small school of bait fish feeding. So it tracks big bass from far away. But you also have the flat seven, which is a very thin bait. And this lure was made for casting long distances. And again, you have the big, strong, loud rattle that attracts fish from long distances. And this lure was also made to fish around cover, around structure. It's the perfect lure to, let's say, fish around logs, stumps, weeds, because it's very buoyant. It will deflect cover. And again, you have a really nice uh, circuit board lip that is very thin, it will go down really deep and it will deflect against stumps, uh, against weeds, against heavy cover. This is the perfect lure to fish around heavy cover. And the other model is the Rattling Deep 10. This lure is made to go down really deep, uh, up to 10 feet deep. And again, so you have really good rattles and the low frequency will attract bass from very far away. And when they see the action, of this lure, they will be tempted to attack it. And the last of the family, it's a wake bait. It's called the wake crank, and it will create a very big wake on the surface that will make mad any big bass around. So if you see any feeding activities near the surface, just cast out the wake crank and hold on because you're gonna see a lot of action. So it's the Arashi family from Storm, and I think, uh, with these, uh, Andrew, you're going to beat your personal bass record this year for sure. Well, they're, they're absolutely beautiful pieces of works of art almost. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at our technical segment. Bucktail jigs have enjoyed a strong revival over the last few seasons. This classic bait never looked better with this new modern makeover. Mets lures reflect exceptional craftsmanship. Like all Mets, this bucktail is well made. Offered in multiple two-tone high contrast patterns, these bucktails are some of the best we've fished. Some colors are UV enhanced. This produces intense color and flash, especially during low light conditions. The slim head shape is designed to sink quickly and get down to where the fish are, even in the swiftest currents. We love the exceptional attention to detail. Each two-tone lead head is smooth and perfectly finished with several coats in a top quality chip resistant paint. Poured with a 90 degree sticky sharp VMC hook, these bucktails work every time. Prism eyes are added to help create a super realistic package. The body is made of long bucktail dyed perfectly with hints of flashaboo to offer an enticing profile. Deer hair is naturally buoyant and flows with the slightest rod movement, making it swim so naturally. A few strands of flashaboo add just enough flash and sparkle. Coupled with the thick hair, these jigs can be seen from longer distances in clear and dark water conditions. Bucktails are the original jig. With decades of history, they have a long tradition of landing trophy-sized fish. Each jig is perfectly tied with long, smooth bucktail that is even in full, reflecting MEP's world-renowned craftsmanship. Bucktails are a perfect bait, simple enough that anyone can master it. They work in a wide range of water conditions. Bucktail jigs are tailor-made for rip jigging a super effective technique for walleye in the weeds. Ripping bucktails along a weedy flat, they'll catch them when nothing else will. 
Hair is the only way to work dense weeds without constantly fouling. Durability is the name of the game with MEPS Bucktails. You can fish an entire season with just one. They're meant to last. They work well just out of the package, but one secret is to splash some scent on them. The bucktail absorbs the scent well and keeps the bait smelling super fishy. Don't be surprised if you tangle with several pike, bass, trout, and walleyes. They love these jigs. Available in a quarter and three-eighths of an ounce and with eight fish catching colors, there's a MEPS bucktail for anything you're after. Versatility is what makes the METS bucktail jig so popular. Cast, vertical jigged, and even trolled will help you enjoy a productive day on the water. They're a classic bait for a reason. If you're interested in trying something new or restocking your bucktail collection, the METS bucktail jig is a must. Still more to come with great tips on how to catch Monster Gar right after this. Did you know that all Princecraft boats are built entirely in Canada in a small town called Princeville in the province of Quebec? Every day, over 300 employees put their talents together to design, assemble, and deliver some of the best built boats in the industry. Princecraft works also with local Canadian component suppliers to ensure the best quality throughout their boats. By purchasing a Princecraft boat, you are supporting the overall Canadian economy and community. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. On the way again. Oh, on the moose, Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Look. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories. Because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparel ensures your total comfort. Created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out SportChief.com. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid. For more than six decades, Princecraft has been renowned for building the best aluminum boats. Experts have consistently relied on Princecraft for its quality, durability, reliability, and performance. Whether it's fishing, water sports, or simply enjoying the water with friends and family, Princecraft has a wide range of products that will suit all your needs. Get yourself the exceptional quality and performance that only a Princecraft boat can provide you. Go to Princecraft.com to build and price your boat or to view our full assortment of products. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. Outdoor passion, and this week we've learned about an ancient monster, a Jurassic beast, exactly. the long-nosed gar. How big do these fish grow? Well, they can be uh, like uh, six feet long uh, and up to 50, 55 pounds. Sometimes they are very aggressive, and the next day they just lie there like a log. It's a very strange and funny fish. And you know they're available just about everywhere in North America. 
The fishing is open all year and the best time of the year is when the weather is real hot. And you know, uh, a lot of people are catching them on conventional lures with the small treble, but of course the rope lure is the best way to catch them. And you know, uh, rope lures requires a lot of maintenance, just like a wig. So what I do, since I don't want to lose any precious fishing time, I just bring them with me at my next barber shop appointment. They know what to do with these, Lure Andrew, you'll see. At least somebody does. <laughs> thank you, Ray, and thank you so much for joining us again this week. Wasn't a great outdoor passion. I'm Andrew Carter. Hope you learned something today that's going to make your next trip into the great big outdoors even more interesting for you. And remember, try to leave things a little cleaner than when you found them. See you next time on Outdoor Passion. Outdoor Passion was brought to you by Rapala World Records World Class. Princecraft Boats, Dominate the Waters. Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. And Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. For more information or to contact us, visit our website at www.outdoorpassion.tv.